Okay, so we are on our final subject for the day, which is science. Um, I loved the bubble maps that I got from so many of you about the sun. It was perfect with the lesson that we had about the sun and you were able to give me a bunch of facts. Um, today, I'm going to suggest that you may want to create a Venn diagram comparing and contrasting the inner and outer planets. Remember, a Venn diagram is when you have two circles that overlap. Where they overlap in the middle is where you write what is similar. And then the two outer circles are where you write what the difference is. One is pertaining to the inner planets and one is pertaining to the outer planets. If you don't want to do that one, we are going to touch a little bit on Pluto and whether or not you think it should be considered a planet. As of right now, because it's so small, it is considered a dwarf planet. You may have to do a little bit of extra research, but if you choose that option from the choice board, you are going to defend whether or not it should be a planet or not. We are going to watch a Brain Pop Junior video today. Um, it's going to review a little bit on the sun and then talk about those inner and outer planets. Uh-oh. Hard quiz. What's up, Moby? You're building your own space shuttle? You want to explore our solar system. What is in our solar system? The solar system is the sun and the group of planets and bodies that orbit it. The sun is the center of our solar system. Planets and other bodies, like comets and asteroids, orbit or go around the sun. What is the sun? The sun is a star. A star is a body of hot gases that makes its own light and heat. The center of the sun is about 27 million degrees Fahrenheit. That's too hot for anything on Earth to survive. The sun is really big. You could fit over 100 Earths across the sun. But the sun is just a medium-sized star. There are even bigger stars and other bodies out there. Even though the sun is millions of miles away, it's still the closest star to the Earth. The sun gives light and heat to our planet, and living things need the sun's energy to survive. Hmm, what's in the inner solar system? There are four planets in the inner solar system. They're mostly rocky and have craters. Some even have ridges and volcanoes. Mercury is the planet closest to the sun and it rotates or spins around very slowly. The side that faces the sun gets really hot and the side that faces away gets really cold. Venus is the second planet from the sun. It has clouds that trap in a lot of heat. Venus is actually the hottest of all the planets. Earth is the planet we live on. We call it the blue planet because there's so much water. Earth is the perfect distance from the sun for plants and animals to survive. Earth has one moon and it orbits our planet. Mars is called the red planet because it has reddish rocks. Scientists think there might have been an ocean on Mars. No, Moby, scientists haven't found any Martians. Yet. What's in the outer solar system? 
The planets and bodies in the outer solar system are colder because they're farther from the sun. Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune are called gas giants because they're large and mostly made of gases. Jupiter is the largest planet in our solar system. There's a gigantic, powerful storm there called the Great Red Spot. The storm has lasted over 300 years. Saturn is the second largest planet. It's easy to recognize because of all the rings. The rings are made of ice, rock, and dust. Uranus is a gassy planet that has thin rings. Most planets spin kind of like a top, but Uranus spins on its side, like a rolling ball. Neptune also has thin rings, and there's a big storm called the Great Dark Spot, kind of like the storm on Jupiter. Good question. Is Pluto a planet? For a long time, Pluto was considered the ninth planet of our solar system. But Pluto is much smaller than the other planets. And its orbit around the sun is different from the other planets' orbits. So, Pluto is now considered a dwarf planet, which is different from a planet. How is your space shuttle coming along, Moby? I don't think that'll make it to space. Okay, so talking about those inner and outer planets, a couple things that we can discuss is that the outer planets, are they hotter or are they colder than the rest of them? Um, I believe they said they were colder. So that is one fact that you could put for outer planets. Um, some of the similarities are they are still in our solar system. Um, there were two planets that had storms on them that have lasted for hundreds of years, which is crazy to me. Um, but I don't want to give you all the answers. You can go back and watch this video or you can research some on your own if you choose to do the Venn diagram. Now, things that you can think about with Pluto is that it's much smaller than the rest of the planets. And it also orbits differently. You may wanna look up and kind of see what that means. How does it orbit differently? That could sway you in one direction or the other. There may be so many other similarities with Pluto that we don't realize that could defend your answer for wanting it to stay as a planet. I look forward to seeing your guys' responses and your Venn diagram or your research. Um, if you choose to do the research, you can definitely write it or you can present it to me in a video. I look forward to see what you guys come up with. Bye. Have a great day.